morning, friends. Hello. <laughs> it's Nicole and Kyle. How are you? <laughs> um, today we thought that we should share our breakfast because it looks pretty delicious. We have two rice cakes with a tablespoon of natural peanut butter. I was always scared to try natural peanut butter because it looks kind of scary, but it actually is quite delicious. So um, that's the smooth one. And then we have an omelet. It is one egg and three egg whites with some spinach, fresh mushrooms, red onion, and tomato. And there's a teaspoon of light cream cheese on top. Um, and your big water. Oh, and my big water, which is 2.2 um, liters, but I also drink another 16 ounces on top of that. So about 3 liters. <laughs> um, because we were um, showing our breakfast, we decided to talk about something that Kyle and I often tend to do, which is take away food instead of add healthy food. What we do is we get so focused on the number, on the scale, which is we're finding quite normal for most people um, who are trying to lose weight, um, even people who don't have as hard of a time losing weight as we do. And so when we get in that moment and stuck, on the scale and that the numbers are not changing as fast as we want them to, we decide that we should take away food. But then we also decide that let's take food away and work out even harder and add more cardio. So now we're working out harder than ever and we're not fueling ourselves properly. So at the end of the day, you're completely exhausted. Um, we noticed that our nails were getting brittle, um, my hair was drier, and then eventually you realize, hey, now we're not seeing any results at all because your body thinks it's starving and it is now storing your fat instead of helping you lose it and using it. Um, so don't get focused on the number. It's, it's so hard to do that. And when you start to think you should take away food, um, don't take away food, but just make sure that you're eating healthier foods. So maybe replace one of your foods with something healthier. Um, and Kyle and I always want to take away the healthy fats. We always say, hey, you know what? We think that the healthy fats might be causing us to gain fat or keep our fat. Yeah, even but though logically we know that uh, healthy fats are an essential nutrient for the body, we still find ways to kind of try to get rid of them and... Uh, we, we come around though. Yeah, we do. Sorry guys, I need to take a drink. Yeah, we come around and we realize that, you know what? This is for longevity. This is for health. So the healthy fats we really need. You re your body really needs it. Even if you are, like us, still trying to lose more weight and put on muscle, you need those fats. We've learned that the healthy fats not only help you see more results, but they keep you more full. We were starving. Like... I would eat breakfast and an hour later I would be so hungry. I would be going to bed starving, waking up so hungry that the first thing I'd have to do is eat, but then it would I wouldn't be able to eat for another few hours. My next meal would be far away from that and I would just keep having the cycle of starving constantly and then in the gym I wouldn't be able to give my all because I would be completely dead um, with no energy. So. The goal is don't worry about the number because even though I, I'm, not, I'm not seeing results on the scale as fast anymore, that makes sense because I don't have much left to lose. And also, just because I'm not seeing it on the scale, I just bought a new pair of pants, a couple pairs of pants about two months ago and they're loose in the legs and in the butt area. So it look at your clothing how it's feeling look at yourself in the mirror um, don't focus on the number it is very hard because I often get stuck in that and I know Kyle does too um, but try to focus on are you eating healthy balanced meals that are fueling your workouts and fueling your day and are you 
um, eating, make sure you're eating healthy fats. Make sure you're eating carbs because we also take carbs away and carbs are what fuel, give you the energy you need to work out and get through your day. And if you're trying to build muscle and you're taking away too many carbs and too much fat, you're not going to put on the muscle because your body's going to need fuel and it's going to eat that. Any muscle you have, it's, it's going to eat, eat it because it. It, needs it needs fuel. Yeah. So make sure, guys, you're eating um, lots of vegetables. We also get stuck in eating the same things every day. Um, lately, we've been trying to switch it up, so that's why we also wanted to show you our breakfast. This is new for us. We get scared when we get stuck in something. We get scared that we're going to, if we change it or add something, we get scared that we're going to go back to where we were. But if you're practicing healthy nutrition, healthy lifestyle, and you're changing it up and adding in different healthy items and nutrient dense items, you're not going to go back to where you were, like how we get scared. You're going to improve it. And sometimes you need to stay, your body needs you to stay at that weight that you're at for a while while you're learning what you need to learn. And I know for me, when I hit plateaus, once I learn what I need to learn, my body will start moving again. That's very hard for me to accept, but that this is how my body operates and when I allow it to just do what it needs to do and not get so much in my head and get so obsessed with losing weight I see a lot more results and we we're scared of certain things like we're gonna try avocado as a healthy fat we also use for healthy fats um, olive oil what else um, we, almonds almonds but we had taken all of that away and healthy fats like I said they make you they keep you full they actually help you lose weight. They keep your hair, skin, and nails healthy. All those things that we completely took away, um, they're really good for you. So we just, we, you know, we tried this natural peanut butter and we found that we actually really enjoy it. But we had been putting off trying natural peanut butter for a long time just because we were scared of it. Same with avocado. It's a really good healthy fat for you, but we always just say, oh, we don't like it. I've never tried it. <laughs> so we're gonna keep trying things like that, challenging ourselves, focusing more on the health part of it instead of the constantly focusing on needing to lose weight, which is extremely hard for us. But, and I'm sure that many of you can relate to this. So we wanted to share those tips with you and just say like, we know what you're going through and we're probably going through it too. And don't be scared of that. Don't feel bad for that. Just Feel all of those things and then try to overcome them by adding something in that you're scared of that you've never tried before. Um, focus for one meal on eating healthy instead of, is this going to help me lose weight? So guys, we hope you enjoyed this video. Um, hope that you learned something from it because we're learning right along with you. So don't feel like you're alone because you're not. We struggle every day too. We have struggles, we have setbacks, but we talk it out with each other and ourselves and we try to learn from it and then make ourselves better people and be better, healthier in our minds and our bodies. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.